boss came to you on April 15th, 2015, isn't that right? That's correct. Your boss came to your office. Uh, yes, I met frequently with my boss. But before April 15th, Miss Hoy, your boss had never come to your office before. I know, that was the first time. I was a little embarrassed because it wasn't my cleanest day in the office, but yes, she came. And the first time your boss has ever come to your office, he came with a very specific question, didn't he? Yes. He wanted to know where the cameras in the VIP room were located. Would you like me to hear that? Response? Runner, I'm not offering this for the truth of the matter asserted. I'm offering it to show the subsequent action this witness took in, in response to her boss's request. Response, Runner? You sure can. Oh. They're using a statement to try to imply that because that area on that table could not be seen on the cameras, that the witnesses, that Avery Bancroft and Chase Covington sat in that shaded area, is most certainly being used for the truth of the matter asserted. Your Honor, I can't elicit the testimony from this witness that she showed or took subsequent actions in response to her boss's request, unless I get onto the record that her boss made a request for her to do something. That's fine, Your Honor. Yeah, sure. This witness did not take any subsequent action to that statement. She did not adjust the cameras to show that shaded area so that there's no action that was taken because of the statement. Okay, that's enough. It's, it's, it's clearly hearsay. I'm going to sustain the objections, though you're certainly welcome to ask about her subsequent actions. Certainly. Yeah. perfect way to solicit the testimony. Ms. Hoy, your boss came to your office. That's correct, multiple times. He had a question. Well, actually, that was the first time your boss had ever come to your office. Isn't that right? Right. I'm sorry. We met several times. Uh, every month, I would meet with uh, Ms. Bancroft to discuss any issues that went on uh, over the month of casino and to discuss uh, security in general. But yes, that was the first time Ms. Bancroft came to my office. And when your boss came to your office, she asked you a question, didn't she? Yes. And in response to that question she asked you, you showed her this diagram, right? Uh, yes. You showed her this diagram while she was sitting in your office. Uh, that's correct. I explained to her uh, what views we could see from the security monitors and explained what we could not see. You pointed out each and every one of these cameras to your boss, isn't that right? Yes, I did. But you also showed her where the blind spots were located. Uh, yes. And you would agree with me a blind spot is an area of the room that the cameras cannot see. Uh, yes, that is in fact what a blind spot and is. And one particular blind spot you showed your boss was right here. you agree with that? Yes. Right, okay. So you showed your boss where that blind spot was right in the middle of that room on April 15th. I'm just going to ask an answer, Your Honor. On April 15th, you showed your boss exactly where that blind spot was, right? Uh, that's right. Uh, and the very came in uh, that she was asking about security. And actually, I was quite happy that she came in because she was taking it seriously. So just to clarify, on April 15th, that's when you told her where that blind spot was. That's correct. And the very next day, your boss was in that VIP room. Yeah, like I said, Bancroft was in the VIP room quite often. She owned the thing. You saw her walk right to where that blind spot was, right? Uh, yeah, she'd walk all over the VIP room. She had a briefcase. Yes. But Miss Hoyt, your boss didn't go to that blind spot alone, did she? Uh, at first, yes, she was alone. Well, she didn't stay alone, did she? No. That's because the defendant, Mr. Chase Covington, he joined her there, right? Uh, yeah, there was about an hour between the time that uh, Miss Bancroft sat down at that table and when Mr. Covington sat down. And you saw both of them go out of the frame and into that blind spot. Correct. Thank you, Ms. Lloyd. Your Honor, I have no further questions. Are you direct? Yes, Your Honor. Next seat. Please. Would you say that it was unusual for Avery Bancroft or Chase Covington to play in that blind spot? Uh, no, like I said, Bancroft on the casino would frequently visit the VIP room, play a couple hands of blackjacks, and that was the table she, she always sat at. No further questions, Your Honor. At this time, permission to approach the witness and retrieve the evidence and publish it to the jury. <coughs> that would be fine. In the meantime, though, make sure there any recross. No recross, Your Honor.